Hi, I'm Chu Ying Wu, the corresponding author of the article entitled First Night H. pylori Eradication Therapies in Countries with High and Low Cryptomycin Resistance, a sustained review and network analysis, recently published in GUT. H. pylori infection is one of the most common chronic bacterial infections with approximately 4.4 billion individuals affected globally. H. pylori is casually associated with chronic active gastritis, which can lead to peptide ulcer disease and precancerous lesions, such as atrophic gastritis and intestinal malplasia. Most importantly, it can lead to mucosa associated in void tissue, matoma, and gastric adenocarcinoma, the third leading cause of cancer related mortality worldwide. In the kitchen, H. pylori can reduce paper ulcer recurrence and alter the progression of precancerous stages. The standard triple therapy, which consists of putting pump inhibitor, crystallomycin and either amoxicillin or metronidazole, was recommended as the first night eradication therapy. In recent years, however, mounting evidence has indicated that the eradication rates with standard triple therapy have declined significantly, with eradication rates as low as 70%. This is mainly due to the increased antibiotic resistance, particularly to cathormycin. In the meantime, emerging combination regimens have been proposed over the past decades and have been tested in different countries. These include bismuth containing quadruple therapy, non bismuth quadruple therapy, also called concomitant therapy, sequential therapy, and hybrid therapy. However, the clinical trials that compare the eradication regimens were mostly pairwise and therefore. The optimal regimens for Helicobacter pylori eradication remains elusive. In this article, we performed a systematic review and network meta-analysis, which allows comparison of more than two comparators. We aimed to investigate the optimal regimen of different first-line Helicobacter pylori eradication therapies. We conducted an electronic search for all randomized controlled trials published between January 2005 and April 2016. 117 trials with a total of 32,852 patients for 17 HPRI education regimens were included. The list of 17 regimens. These 17 regimens were grouped according to the antibiotics used and the duration of therapy. Subsequently, we estimated the comparative efficacies of each regimen using triple therapy for seven days as reference. In addition, we reviewed the prevalence of precursomycin resistance in the countries of trials included in this study. We categorized the results by the extent of precursomycin resistance. Using precursomycin resistance 15% as the cutoff, we showed that in areas with high chromosomycin resistance, sequential therapy for 14 days had the highest effectiveness, with an odds ratio of 6.53 when compared to triple therapy for 7 days. Hybrid therapy, on the other hand, was the most effective regimen in the areas with low chromosomycin resistance, with an odds ratio of 2.85 when compared to the triple therapy for 7 days. In this article, we also presented the leak table to demonstrate the comparative efficacies of H. pylori eradication regimens. We showed that in both areas with high and low cryptomycin resistance, H. pylori eradication regimens with longer duration were associated with higher eradication rate. However, we also showed that regimens with longer duration were associated with a higher risk of events that lead to discontinuation. Our network analysis provides practical implications that may be translated to clinical benefit. The rank order were interpreted according to different local antibiotics resistance rates. 
tolerability and local therapeutic rates may help physicians in determining a favorable first-line therapy regimen and the duration for HPR eradication.